This episode is brought to you by Integrity Pro Consulting. IPC is a ServiceNow sales, services, training, and technology partner, but I love them for their unique approach to services. IPC knows that project success is nothing without proper organizational change management, and each of its resources are trained in OCM frameworks. Check out the links below and see what a difference that can make for your organization. Hey everyone, welcome back to another When in Rome. It's so good to have you here. Really nice enhancement available to both demand and project management with the introduction of non-monetary benefit plans. Let me ask you this. Prior to the Rome release of ServiceNow, how would you quantify the benefits of 100% compliance against a given framework, increased CSAT scores or productivity, the exact number of physical locations brought up to code, a number of hours or days of training rendered, or vulnerable systems patched? What if these abstract, non-monetary benefits could be quantified for the project? What if you could actually track your progress towards them? With Rome, it's all on the table. Let's explore the reduction of vulnerability risk use case. Here's a pre-made benefit plan. Since the benefit type is non-monetary benefits, the old financial section has been replaced with non-monetary benefits. I wanted the goal to be 100% over five fiscal periods. This is represented by the benefit plan breakdown related list. Because the breakdown is automatic, it's going to evenly distribute the benefit equally over those periods. Because the aggregation mode is sum, it will add the actualized benefits from the benefit plan breakdowns. You'll notice that some of the benefits have been actualized. Here we're modeling 20%, because in the August benefit breakdown, we entered 20% actual. Let's enter an actual benefit of 10 for September. Refresh the screen. And we see the benefit plan has been actualized to 30 since the aggregation mode is sum. It takes some getting used to to express the goal with the measure and entered benefit, and then you'll aggregate your actuals. But with the help of the wiki page and description, you should be okay. If you drop me a like and a comment, I'm happy to take a much deeper dive on this. Some other cool stuff about non-monetary benefit plans. They're for demands and projects. They have a marker to determine if the benefit was achieved or not. Awesome for reporting. The plan benefit can be for counts, percentages, hours, days, scores, or undefined using the yes or no. This option simplifies the benefit plan to just achieved or not. You can automatically break the benefit goal equally over fiscal periods with the automatic breakdown type, or define the breakdowns manually with manual, or do neither with none. Non-monetary benefit plans can be baselined on both demand and project. Monetary and non-monetary benefit plans can be associated with each other via the associate benefit UI action on the benefit plan form. This is a great feature for ITBM, for all those reasons we run projects that aren't necessarily financial. I think it's as good or better for accounts not currently using benefit plans. It's the act of quantifying and measuring the goal of a project, which is too often lost in the other minutia of executing. Show the emerging benefits of your projects with non-monetary benefit plans, only in the Rome release of ServiceNow. If you'd like to sponsor this channel's content, email me at the address pictured here. If you need a conversation on where your ServiceNow implementation is or where it's going, you can reach me on SuperPeers and book a short consult. If you want to contribute to high quality, high frequency output, consider a donation. If not, I still appreciate your viewership. Consider hitting the like button and sharing within your network. Thanks for watching.